Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, uh, never heard no horse. <laughs> horses sing none of it and we have with us today the Orpheus Supertones which are or which is I don't know what the pr proper pr pronoun is or verb we have Kelly Allen hi glad to meet you Kelly oh, oh. <laughs> you introducing the band now Ralph I'm trying but I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Claire, Claire Milliner Claire Milliner Walt Koken of Highwoods fame, 
And my old friend Pete Peterson. Who's lived around this neck of uh, New Jersey and Pennsylvania for a while. So I've known you back a while now. Yes, sir. Well, that was a good tune. That was an old tune from John Dyke's Magic City Trio, recorded back in the 20s, and one of my favorites. John Dyke's Magic City Trio. Mm -hmm. What was the Magic City? Well, I'm not sure. I think, I think it was Bristol. It might have Bristol, been Bristol. Tennessee. I also think that in Roanoke, Roanoke, Virginia was also known as the Magic City, but I don't think they were from there, so. <laughs> don't know. That's a group I never heard of. No. Learn something new every day. They did some great ones. We're going to do another another little song now that, w that was from the Sheeler family and they recorded it back in what they call the Bristol Sessions which was when Ralph Peer went down and recorded the Carter family in 1927 in Bristol. I guess it was. And Jimmy Rogers, who's and currently been on this show because he's on the back wall. Yeah. He was at the Bristol Sessions, too. Uh, and I'm not sure if it was Bristol, Tennessee, or Virginia, because this Main Street runs right between the two. By golly. Yeah. The Main Street is the state line. And so, uh, this is an ode to big, beautiful women. All right. Yeah. It's on our it's on our CD. It's called the Big Ben Gals. And Claire and Kelly are gonna sing it. <laughs> They'll be able to tell. <laughs> there you go. Such a lively woman, they search all over creation. She beats all the women in the black creek wars and clean up the whole plantation. Such a lively woman, they search all over creation. She beats all the women. 
living in the black creek waters and clean up the whole plantation. Them words come flying by pretty fast. Yeah. The original record is close to unintelligible. Fortunately, a friend of ours went down south some years later, uh, made friends with the Sheeler family, and Clarice Sheeler wrote it out for him in her own handwriting, and he gave us a Xerox of it. A and photocopy, as they say. OK. Wasn't that a lucky happenstance then? It's actually a pretty small world in old time music. <laughs> Every, everybody knows everybody else after a while. Watch out, two banjos at one time. Well, back when, back in the 60s when a lot of people were working on a melodic claw hammer style. Walt developed his own melodic claw hammer style, and I'm going to praise him because he won't say good things about himself. He can, he's the only person I know that can keep a good, strong rhythm going and get the notes. Get all the notes. Get all the notes. So he took the East Texas Serenaders rag Miniola Rag adapted it for the banjo and then we turned it into a band arrangement. Is this with you, Pete? Yep, this is an old tune from Texas called I've Been So Lonesome in the Saddle Since My Horse Died. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Not too fast now. <laughs> Thank you. 
pretty Qu fancy pick in there. Claire, was that one of the tunes you transcribed when you first started your transcription of fiddle tunes? Well, that is a tune that, that we have transcribed. Walt and I have been working on a, a huge volume of transcriptions of old time tunes. And the thing that sets it apart from other transcriptions is that we're transcribing from the original source as much as we can. So it takes a lot of research and it takes a lot of uh, actual time listening to the tune and getting every note exactly right and then putting it into the computer note by note. So we've been working on that for several years now. We're hoping to have the book out in maybe another year or so. And folks can find out about that by going to mudthumper.com? Yes. Or to the Brandywine Friends of Old Time Music uh, website, which I forget. But you can Google that. And, uh, yeah. The Brandywine Friends of Old Time Music is a nonprofit organization in Delaware, and they've been supportive of old time music for many decades. And they're very supportive of this project, too. The project is just to transcribe accurately about 1,500 now. Yeah, it's up to 1,600 now, actually. <laughs> See what happens when you pause for breath? 1,600 fiddle tunes going back to the original sources and to provide a written record of that. That's correct. Which is just Pretty an incredible amazing. piece of work. Okay. Let's play a tune. Okay, it'll be a song. We're going to get Pete and Kelly to sing a little beautiful melody. Listen to the words. They're simply beautiful. When the roses bloom in Dixon land, I'm coming home to you. When the band is playing music, brand to the sweetest girl I ever knew. I'm saving all my money.
mighty fine singing and playing by the Orpheus Supertones. Getting a song from the Carter family, one of our favorite groups. We should tell folks how to get in touch with you in case they want to find out about your recordings, of which you have two. And there's a bunch more by Walt and Friends. Yeah. There's one duet of Claire and Walt called Just Tunes, which is aptly named and has some wonderful tunes on it. They're all available through Mud Thumper Music, which is mudthumper.com. We're not allowed to sell anything on the show, though, <laughs> except our music. We love this music. You yeah. can write to Walt at Walt. W. Koken at, I don't know, at Comcast.com. Comcast. 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 It disappeared yeah. off the dot net. Yeah. Uh, how are we doing for time, Ralph? Got about four minutes. Oh, okay. Four and a half minutes. Well, do we think we want to uh, tell a long story and then have a tune with you? Or. Why don't you do another tune with you guys? Okay, we, we'll do a little we'll bit of this. And we'll see if we can we'll squeeze in a little bit of There's an old tune a fellow named Elzik wrote for his mom. His mom was dying. And so he wrote this tune, and everybody calls it Elzig's Farewell. It comes from West Virginia. And we have some West Virginia stories, but we don't have enough time. <laughs> Ready? Pretty tune. I want to thank the Orpheus Supertones for joining us here. Thank you, Ralph. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for Ralph. Having you. It's been a pleasure to listen to your music and see you play. Well, we hope you, everybody liked it. Let's play that little, little bit of, of the Ragtime, ragtime Annie. Annie. You, Ralph, you get out your, your horn. <laughs> He's ready. He's got two. All right. All right. Okay, bust down. <laughs> <laughs> 